Is Black Lives Matter a true statement? Absolutely it is. The problem is that we're trying to centralize it on one group. And it's not even the most victimized group in America. Not by a long shot, actually. What I'm fighting for is equality. Have I said that Black Lives Matter is a racist organization? Yes, I have. Why is that? Because I pay attention. People who are claiming that they're trying to do some good for Black Lives Matter and then they're going completely out of their way to not be reasonable about anything. Well, I'm irrational in the same way back. That's the rational response at this point. You don't like it when it happens to you. I don't like it when it happens to me. I don't like it when it happens to my loved ones. And I don't like it when it happens to your loved ones. Most of the people who are saying that all lives matters, all lives, they're not being racist either. They're not. Saying that that's racist is stupid. And here's why. Because it is a much bigger problem than just with black people. We got plenty of laws to make what these officers are doing illegal already. You can look back, I've been fighting for body cameras for years and years and years. Why is that? Because the police corruption towards the homeless is rampant, it is obvious, and those who can't see it are selectively oblivious. All lives do matter. That includes black lives. That includes Native American lives. That includes homeless lives and immigrant lives. And guess what? That also includes white lives. There's only one race of humans. Just one. completely baffles me how we got this far. I mean, we were supposed to be doing so good after the 1970s, right? I mean, we got integration in the 1960s. In the 1970s, you'd think that our parents would have had a little bit more integration. Integration you know, I uh, asked a question about Tupac. Who made a, a greater impact in the world? Malcolm X or Tupac? Um, I want to hear your opinions and why. I already know who I picked. I wrote to a friend of mine today. He picked same person that I did. Malcolm X or Tupac? Um, after I get a few of these in, a few other people's answers and why, I'll read you mine. We have the opportunity today to change the world for the better. We have the opportunity today change laws, and not just laws, but law enforcement itself. We have the opportunity to mold our police force 
into a police force that works for the people. We have the ability to create laws and to get rid of ones that are badly earmarked. We have the power to say, hey, we need to put our foots down. Foots. You like that? <laughs> We need to try to do the thing that our parents couldn't. We gotta say, hey, I'm not going to say one thing and do another like my parents did. I'm gonna be the change. Instead of talking about what the change should be, I'm going to be the change. Anyway, those of you who are offended by the fact that I say Black Lives Matters is racist, um, you know, all lives matter is not racist. But if you're going to call people who say that racist and say they're ignorant of these things, oh no, a lot of us have lived through hate. We know what it's like to have to be afraid of the police just because we're poor. Just because we got nobody in our actual corner. We got a lot of talkers. If you got family, you got more than most. That's a lot of power right there. But they have to care. And we got uh, a lot of kids in foster homes. That's where a lot of us grew up. A lot of us were dropped off at 18 without an ID. Need an ID to get a job. Your own street. I, I actually thought for the first week that I was homeless, I was like, you know what? People drop a lot of change. I'm going to save up enough change picking up change off the ground that I'm going to be able to get an ID. I know you need two forms of ID to get an ID, they tell you. So, it's only gotten more complicated since then. A lot of you who have had to get your ID, who live in houses, have a driver's license, and gas in your vehicle to go do that, even a lot of you have complications. So, I guess what I'm saying is, uh, we need unity. We don't need to be fighting over who's got it worse. What we got to focus on is why is it bad. Instead of saying, well, the natives got it worse, or the black folks got it worse, or the hobos got it worse. Or women got it worse, or men got it worse. We got to go, hey, why are we each other's throats? Why are we doing that to each other? Why aren't we going after the son of a bitches who are taking our money but not doing their fucking job? If their job is to enforce immoral laws, we need to change those immoral laws. We need to put our foot down. We need to put them down as a people. That means not being exclusive. If you're going to exclude a whole bunch of other people who are going through the same thing, just so that you can pretend that it's all about race. No, it's not. These officers are trained to do these things. They did many of these things to myself and many other people that I personally know. And since Natalie was killed, I've only gotten hundreds upon hundreds more stories. People tell me their stories and then they don't want them public. They tell me their stories, but they don't come forward in court. They tell me they're going to help me and they're going to listen. And then I end up listening to their stories.
you know how much that hurts me? How much it hurts me to hear people scream at each other? How much it hurts me to hear people yell? How much it hurts me to see somebody out in the cold? I mean, when you've been homeless, you look at everybody on a cold night and you think they might not wake up in the morning. And then you hear about a body, and then it's all day long you're anticipating who it is that it might be, hoping it, it's not somebody who's too incredibly close to you, but you know, when you care about everybody out there, it doesn't matter because you care about everybody out there. So then every death hurts, every loss is permanent. And a lot of those people are black. A lot of them aren't. The way the black folk are rolled through the system, white folk are rolled through too. And then there's those who are homeless. And they get rolled through more than nearly everybody. The second largest cross section of the prison and jail populations in America is homeless people. People were homeless before becoming incarcerated. But the highest, number one on the list, is actually former foster children. I want you to think about that. Eighty to eighty-five percent of all child pornography in the United States comes from the foster care system. So, that question at the very beginning, I'm going to ask it one more time. I guess it wasn't at the very beginning. But between Tupac and Malcolm X, who made a bigger impact?